have been called. Just because. I said because. Same chapter. Say that. Jesus say. Yes, 
in a bottle. I'm talking about those kind that run down your cheek. Real tears. And luck under your chin. Jesus knows who your first who you first fell in love with. And who broke your heart. And who you fell out of love with. He even know about your infatuation. Right. Since some of you are looking at me kind of strange, let me no, no, no. make it plain. Uh -huh. If God took a notion, he could clean house today. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. From the pulpit yes, sir. to the back door yes, by putting on display some stuff yes, that has run across our minds. Yes, I mean the church. Yes. 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 I'll tell you, Deacons, he know every secret, every skeleton in our closet right now. There's nothing that you know about yourself that he doesn't already know before you knew what you knew about yourself. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Jesus not only know every friend you have, he also know every person that has smiled in your face and have stabbed you. In the back. Right. Yeah. Shall I tell you the context of the text? Jesus walked into the city of Nan uh -huh. with his disciples and the crowd that followed him. The Bible tells us Jesus and his crowd were coming into the city and they were met by a great crowd going out of the city. And the other crowd was a funeral possession. Yes. You see, the crowd that was with Jesus, they were excited, right. exuberant, yeah. elated because of the things he had spoken and the miracles he had performed. Right. Yeah. But as we observed the other crowd that was coming out of the city, they were caught up in the grips of death. All right. <laughs> the Bible tells us that this sad crowd were on their way to a graveyard with the only son of a widow woman. Not only was the boy dead, the sad songs had been sung. The funeral was over. This crowd was made up of church folk, mourners, who were dressed for the occasion. They wore the clothes of somebody who had given up, who were on their way to the graveyard with the only son of a widow woman. Yes. You need to know that it was custom to bury the dead outside the city. Yes. Are you going to pray with me? Yes. The Bible say that Jesus and his crowd were coming into the city. Yes. And the other crowd, a funeral procession was going out of the city. Uh -huh. And both crowd met Simultaneous. Right, Look at the picture. Yes. Life and death meeting up at the same place uh -huh. and at the same time uh -huh. as the mother is crying because her son is dead. Uh -huh. I know this is not in the script, but allow me to fast forward my DVD player to the 21st century. Uh -huh. This young man's death could have been the result of game banking. Yes. Between the Bloods and the Crips. Uh -huh. Or a drug dealer deal gone bad, or perhaps a gifted young person, an innocent victim of a drive-by shooting. Uh -huh. These kind of everyday incidents are leaving too many of our young African-American yes. mothers yes. crying as they take their young son to an early grave. Yes. Are you going to pray at me? Yes. Bless Jesus. Bless Jesus. These kind of everyday incidents yes. 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 are leaving too many Young mother crying mm -hmm. over their son yes. at an early age. Yes. Instead of putting the undertaker out of business, mm -hmm. these senses of killing are keeping the undertaker in business. Yes. The Bible says that she was a widow mm -hmm. and her only son was in her coffin. Right. If you know anything about Jewish history uh -huh. and the plight of this woman in ancient Israel, yes. you know that her dead son especially it was her only son, uh -huh. meant the end of this woman prosperity. Yes. Right. Her only means of support uh -huh. had died, yeah. and she was left penniless. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the woman was mourning uh -huh. over her only son, yes. death, yes. and was taking it in a box to a grave. Yes. Maybe I need to remind some of you yes. what I said at the beginning of my discourse, uh -huh. that Jesus was in name for a purpose. Yes. 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 Bless Jesus. One thing I like about Jesus is that Jesus have a way of erecting funerals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yes, he does. Yeah. Jesus yeah. has a way of wrecking funerals. Uh -huh. A way of upsetting dead things. Yeah. In fact, oftentimes in the Bible, Jesus wouldn't even appear on the scene until a corpse was cold and stiff. Uh -huh. And some of them, Jesus wouldn't even show up until the situation deemed hopeless and dead, and there was no way in the world that it could be turned around. Yeah. But when Jesus showed up, yeah. he could change things. Yeah. He could make things different. Yeah. I'm talking about when everybody had given up. Yeah. Then when Jesus showed up, yeah. I said when Jesus showed up, yeah. he's always on time. Yeah. He may not come when you want him, yeah. but he's always about his daughter uh -huh. or Mary and Martha about their problem. Yeah. They would tell you that Jesus is an on-time God. Yeah. In fact, he might live long enough to know it for myself. I don't need to get personal and get all up in your business, but somebody on the side of my voice is on their way to a cemetery in a special box. Yeah. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. Yeah. Some of you that put your marriage, your children, your dreams, yeah. your future, in a box, and you're caught up in the death grip on your way to a cemetery. The devil told you there ain't no need to keep praying, but keep on praying. Your situation is dead. There's no need for further discussion. You need to give up and go to a graveyard. I they speak for the preacher, the office of us, and the choir members, or you in the pew. I can only put my hope and my trust in Jesus. Yeah. 
into a celebration. Yeah. Jesus can change things. Yeah. There have been some of us sitting there with some dead things in our life. Yeah. But Jesus changed. I said, Jesus changed. How did he know he had changed? I said, he had changed my life. Jesus can change. Yes, he can. Yeah. Wow.